Is it a video? Here you go. There you go. Thank you much. It's more. No, you're good. You're good. You're good. Here, I'm taking everyone. It's only. Thank you, ma'am. She's done. From the U.S. Navy, the U.S. Marines, para po sa isang opportunity na binigay sa akin, pagbibigay ng konti kaalaman para sa ating lahat. Brothers and sisters, God, we ask your blessing upon the knowledge and the wisdom we have them today. That will improve their lives for today, tomorrow, and forever. Now grant us and bless this nation and its leaders, we pray. Talk to you about things that you can do to keep your body healthy, like what you put into it. Uh, tayo magpalakas ng katawan, kung anong, ka, anong pagkain kailangan natin kainin para maging malusot tayo. Okay? We're going to go over a few reasons why you need to brush your teeth here. Oh, makinig tayo mabuti ha. Ay tuturo ni ate yung mga... Let's start from over with you guys. A diet has a big role in the way your teeth are forming. But not sit down, okay? You ready? So you're going to squat like this. Everyone see? And then you're going to stand up. Okay? And begin. One! Down up, two, down up, three, down up. There's a lot of pain and swelling. Metal that we're gonna put one on top and then one on bottom. And you're gonna keep it still, as still as you can. You don't want that. All right, next we're going to be going over burns, okay? If you burn something from an iron or something that's hot, like a fire, this is what you're going to do. Stop. Thank 
My favorite thing about being at Commandant 3, Chi, we're on the Chi, so the Cooperative Health Engagement, are most of the Comrels. Um, with the community relations, we do with the families, the locals, and um, the Filipino Army, Air Force. We get to come in, give gifts, eat food, and really engage in the culture. So most of them know the concept. They understand brushing and flossing. They're taught to brush their teeth. Most of them have lack of resource, so most of them don't have toothbrushes. Um, most of them don't know what floss is. They'll use um, something like sewing needles, thread, and they'll floss with that. It's, the great thing about being here is understanding that they know what they know, helping them brush and floss every day and giving them the resources to do so. The importance about the Chi, specifically in Commandog, is showing a presence within the community, um, supporting the locals and supporting our joint armed forces in the Philippines and uh, with the Japanese armed forces as well. Um, that way they don't see it as more of a separation, they see it as a um, community and an involvement, actively involvement. My favorite thing about today was um, the kids are taught to respect their elders, so they'll take the hand of the elder and they'll place it on the forehead. And um, a kid came up to me and I thought he was going to shake my hand, but he showed me that sign of respect by placing his hand on my forehead. And that was pretty powerful, pretty moving. Um, it's a very respectful culture. So it was great to be a, a part of that. So today we had a quick uh, educational training for the locals. We had a, um, basically we taught them high, hand hygiene, dental hygiene, a little bit of exercise on how to keep themselves healthy, uh, think, little things about food, what's healthy and what's not. And um, now we're giving out hygiene kits to the lo uh, little kids and to the parents. This, is, uh, this event actually, this activity is very important because this is how we build relationships with the locals, not just with we have a long-standing relationship with the Philippine Armed Forces already, and we continue to build that, but building the local populace, seeing us working with the uh, Philippine Marine Corps, Philippine Navy, builds that partnership between the military and the local population. Um, if there's one thing that they will take away from this, I hope it will be the relationship that we as the U.S. Forces are here ready to support and um, work alongside the Philippines, not just the Philippine mil military, but also the Philippine local population. Actually, my favorite part was when the kids uh, tried the exercises and they were having fun with the U.S. Marines and the Philippine Marine uh, doing some exercises. That was one of my greatest, uh, I mean, that's one of the favorite part. I hope with the kids and the moms and the dads, uh, they practice what they have learned uh, about uh, proper hygiene, washing, brushing teeth, the one that the U.S. Uh, Naval uh, Medical Corps have taught them that they will uh, be continuously doing it uh, for their health. Actually, working with the American military is a great opportunity and it's fun working with them actually. Fun because uh, you see the easiness uh, even though we have some kind of uh, language bar sometimes. Uh, well, we just get along with each other so well that uh, even with the sometimes uh, not so good situations, we're able to get through, pass through. I mean, uh, we're able to uh, overcome those uh, little trials and struggles along the way and uh, come up with a great activity, result. Actually, what meant to me was when the people up, the, the IPs came down and they were already waiting for us and they were excited and the kids were responsive. Uh, not all the time that we get to have an audience that's so participative and uh, responsive with uh, the lecturers, especially with the, our counterparts, the Americans, because sometimes they would get shy. But this time, it was awesome. The kids were awesome.